thought that perhaps Taylor and I should have a competition um, as to who could make the best bronze-winged courser call. I think that's an excellent idea. I will initially play you the original. And then hopefully we will see one, and then I shall attempt it myself. There we go. Now don't do, do this at home, everybody. Of course, you have to be very skilled to use your telephone while driving. It's not advisable, especially in traffic. All right, are you listening? Tristan apparently thinks I sound like a sick hardy da, as does Louise. Louise, please would you give me your rendition of that call over the radio? Did you hear that, everybody? That was Louise's call. open comms, I just put my earpiece to the microphone. There we go. Well done, Louise. <laughs> and nobody heard. That makes me very sad. All right, never mind. David, would you like to have a go? Okay, go for it. Very good. You're like the Joe Cocker of, um, or Louis Armstrong of the bronze-winged courser world. That's very good. Yes, very gravelly bronze-winged courser. If uh, you, you must be careful. Don't do that again, or the female bronze-winged courses will come herring out of the bushes to see who this gravelly man is. Marvin, you're a, you thought I was choking. Well, thank you, Marvin. I wasn't, in fact, choking. Um, thank you, I think. Of course... The fact that I am a presenter here means that I must be polite to you and thank you for what you've just said, making a contribution to the show, despite the fact that I might not feel that genuine about my thanks now, given that you say you thought I was choking. Taylor's going to do a spectacular rendition. I also think we must ask Viam to do it too, because it will be funny regardless. <laughs> Our plan from here, as you know, as much as it exists, is to head down. Oh, I suppose I should do my best attempt. I think we should play the call though as well, so I can hear it once more. I've been actually been practicing. Since I've been all fair. Right, let's get the burr. Oh, actually, I'm very good. I've already got it there. Turn the volume on. Are you ready? Right. Are you ready? This is so embarrassing. James. do anymore to save myself the embarrassment. It is ridiculous the things that I'm made to do. I feel as though I'm forced into them. <laughs> Louise, what is my rating? Who wins? I feel like James probably did a better bronze wing horse than what I did. Nope. <laughs> Wait. Surely it was better than four and a half out of ten. What do you think? Uh, at, least At least a six and a half. Thank you, VM, for having my back. Those ladies in final control, on the other hand, my goodness, they need a stern talking to. And Louise is now trying to pull rank. I'll just tell you what she's just said. She just said to me that director gets a final say. 
So if you dispute Louise, <laughs> Louise's uh, um, well comment, hashtag Safari Live. And but I'm, I, I feel like James probably did a bit better call. I think he chose that one knowing that he was quite good at it. Um, yes, I don't think I've ever had to try and imitate a bronze wing corsa before. Darby did the best call. That's interesting. I have to go back and hear the David's. Uh, Okay, VM needs a chance too, VM. So stage is yours. <laughs> VM says it sounds like a dying dog. My goodness. Still on sundown break in this area must be thinking something is dying out in the bush. <laughs> I don't think we're very good at bronze wing corsa calls, but mine is definitely better than four and a half VM. I will give you seven and a half. Actually, I'm going to give you ten out of ten because your camera work today is outstanding. So you get ten. VM wins. I'm also, I don't know, I'm pulling rank because I'm the presenter that's live at the moment. <laughs> VM wins. VM gets the award for best everything today. Oh, he gets the man of the match award, I think. We need to actually get a trophy and start a man of the match or something along those lines. That's obviously a sporting award, I'm sure.